So in this video, we're going to cover VOC, the voice of the customer. It's talked a lot about in Lean Six Sigma when we're trying to improve business processes. Now, before we dive in, let me mention, if you're interested in a free Lean Six Sigma white belt certification course, you can access one at sixsigmasociety.org. Now, as we define our improvement, as we start scoping out what we hope to accomplish, we've got to talk to our customers. They're the ones that are going to use the process, are going to get the outputs from it. We want to seek their input. So the voice of the customer is customer requirements and feedback, and they're going to help us define and prioritize our improvements. Ultimately, the process is there to satisfy them. And here's just an example of some methods for collecting the voice of the customer. We could use interviews, um, observations, so watching people use the process or the outputs from the process. We could use customer surveys, look at customer reviews, and there's lots more examples of, that, uh, examples of these. But let me uh, dive into a few of them. So observations, this is talking to customers in their environment. So if we build lawnmowers, we could watch our customers mow their lawn, actually get out there and watch the process as it's being conducted or watch them use the output of it. Just observe it. Sometimes we, we learn more uh, by, by watching our customers. We could also use online reviews. So if we've got a, a product that's being produced, we could look at the feedback uh, from customers online. Uh, an example might be if you sell a product on Amazon and you're trying to improve it, you could look at the one or two star feedback, really any of the feedback, and try to understand what some of the issues customers see with the product. How can we make it better? Another thing that's uh, sort of a, a field that's growing is something called sentiment analysis. If we're trying to understand the needs of the customer, we could watch what they say on social media. You can discern their feelings or their sentiments based on some of their messaging. And if you're curious, there's a tool called Sentiment Viz out there, uh, a free tool, because you kind of see how this works, how um, tweets can be analyzed to determine sentiments of customers and to understand what they like or perhaps don't like about our about the process or the product or service. Now what's important here when we think about voice of the customer is that customers want different things. We either, we could have a external customer and these are paying customers or other interested parties and we could also have internal customers, other groups in our organizations that receive our process outputs. These customers oftentimes want different things and so we got to think about who our customers are. And what's also important here is that we should be prioritizing our customers. Which ones um, maybe bring in the most revenue for us or for whatever reason are, are key to the business? We ought to be thinking about looking at their feedback first or prioritizing that at the top of our list of concerns. And also, we ought to think about making sure we talk to the right customer. So here's an example. As I was a kid, I was paid $10 by a marketing firm on a regular basis to give feedback on remote control cars. Kids are really the experts on these. We could talk to parents. There may be some value there, but the, the customers using the product are children. We ought to be talking to them in this case. So we want to make sure we're talking to the right customer. All right, now let's do a quick activity. Uh, surveys can be a, a way to capture the voice of the customer. Let's um, try this out. So using our example of a mobile phone company we've talked about earlier in this training, Let's see if we could write a few survey questions to help us better understand customer needs. So if you're thinking about sending out a survey, what might be some good questions to understand what customers are expecting from a mobile phone? Okay, so here's some ideas. One might be, after placing an order, when do you expect delivery? How fast do you expect the phone to get to you if we're shipping it to you? Another question could be, how long should the battery last? How long do you expect your phone to run without it dying on you? How quickly should the phone be able to charge and how could it charge? How fast do you expect a support call to be resolved? Do you expect to get a resolution on the first call? Do you, um, if they submit a ticket or a concern, should we address it within 24 hours? How fast do they expect those to, to be worked out? Also, what do you like and dislike about the product? More general. So these are just a few examples of questions. What you ought to do is you think about creating a survey to capture the voice of the customer is avoid asking questions that require yes and no answers. You often get more rich information if you allow it to be open-ended. 
So thanks for watching. If you're interested in learning more, don't forget to check out the free Lean Six Sigma certification course at sixsigmasociety.org.